Hi guys. Uh, I have here a kiwi crate and I wanted to open it up and just sort of explore it a little bit with you because I know we're all stuck at home and not everybody gets these crates so why not share it and see if you might learn something or have some fun just sitting around and watching me talk to a box and a camera. <laughs> so this uh, crate I don't know if I can show you, well it'll be backwards, but the kiwi crate, this one is about my body and me, and on the side it includes all of the stuff that's in it, and this is sent to my son, but he's letting me open it with you guys instead, so I hope you enjoy, and it's a really long one, so, but we've got time, right? Make plush organs. This is going to be backwards, I think, but it says make plush organs. There's a bunch of things in this book, actually. My body and me from the Kiwi Crate. And uh, in this crate, it shows you how to build a stethoscope. It um, has the materials to make the plush organs. And you can create some x-rays. So they've got some uh, like glow-in-the-dark sticker paper and some vinyl clings like the the clings that you put up on um, your windows and stuff for like Halloween you put a pumpkin and things and you can peel it off they've got stickers kind of like that that you can put down that look like bones and then you put the glow-in-the-dark paper in a room with some light on it and then in a dark room with some light on it and then it charges up the glow paper except for the places that the black bones are and then when you peel it off it looks like you've got an x-ray so that's kind of cool um, so I think I might just go through I don't know I think the plush organs are kind of cute um, this booklet oh might be a poster hold on Oh no, it's a it's quite, an, quite a big magazine. It's a Kiwi Explorer magazine. Um, amazing Anatomy. This is pretty cool. So it's got Steve the Kiwi, the problem patient. A little cartoon. I remember when I used to get subscriptions like this is all I got, not the whole Kiwi crate, right? But uh, yeah, so it's kind of cool. Maybe I'll read a few of these things. It does say read right on it. Um, there's a recipe in here, and there's some uh, crafts that you can do, like a, how to make one of, a couple of the classes I know have done this before with a plastic bottle and a balloon um, to fill it up, and it shows how your lungs expand uh, when you're breathing and deflate. That's really cool. Uh, funny bones. Where would you be without your skeleton? You'd probably be pretty floppy. That's because your skeleton holds everything up and it gives your body structure. It's a pretty amazing part of your amazing body. There's some facts about bones. When you're born, you have about 300 bones. By the time you grow up, you only have 206. Hmm, do you know why? Hmm. What happens to those other bones? As you grow, smaller bones fuse together to make larger ones. Just like um, in your head, you've got parts of your skull. And then as you get older, they fuse together because they had to be little parts so that when you were born, sometimes babies when they're born, because you have to come out like a little tube and babies' heads get squished. And so uh, there's on a baby when you're holding like a little brother or sister or a friend, little newborn baby, you have to be very careful of the neck and a little soft spot right here called the fontanelle and that goes away as the skull fuses together as they get older so everybody has that. It's actually really quite fascinating. I loved it when my, my boys were born and I could see their head, their heartbeat almost right through their scalp they had a lot of hair, but you know, you could see it. It's very, very um, soft. So that's kind of cool. 
The outer layer of your teeth, called the enamel, is the hardest substance in your body. I did not know that. And while they might look like them, your teeth aren't bones at all. Doctors use x-rays to see your bones. X-rays can pass through most of your body, but get stopped by bones. If you lay on top of a special paper and a doctor shines x-rays on you, it creates a picture of what your bones look like. Did you know that bones can heal themselves? If you break a bone, your doctor will make sure that the break is lined up properly and held in place with a cast. Your bones will do the rest of the healing themselves. Bones are brilliant. Yeah, so there's a cool recipe here. I'll take a picture and I'll, I'll add that in case you wanted to make, what is it? Bo yummy bones. So yeah, you can maybe have a, a recipe day with a grown up and you can cook some bread bones. It looks kind of cool. Um, there's a connect the dots. Why is one hand dominant? Most of you guys are right-handed. Some of us are left-handed. That's a, the, the hand that you print or write with. Those are the, that's a dominant hand. Maybe the hand that you throw with or catch a ball or something. That's your dominant hand. <clears throat> and this talks about that. Um, oh, actually it has like the connect the dots. You can actually do this at home just with two coloring pages, like two well, coloring pages. Do one with your right hand as good as you can, take your time, and then do a different one or you can draw a line down the middle and then do the other one with your left hand and see which one is better and see if you can improve it too. Because that, when you can use both hands, it's called ambidextrous. Not very many people are ambidextrous, but it's pretty cool. Um, it's not only hands that are dominant. You have a dominant eye and a dominant foot too. And they're a little bit different for everyone. They may be on the same side as your dominant hand or they may not. Uh, which eye do you wink with? Which foot do you use to kick a ball? For me, um, I've taught a lot of people how to snowboard and this sounds kind of weird but the easiest way to find out if they're one way or the other, uh, dominant, left or right dominant, would be to stand behind them and give them a little push. Not hard, but just a push because it makes them go forward. Sorry, I'm knocking the table. <laughs> it makes them go forward and figure out which foot you brace yourself with. That tends to be your dominant foot. or. Um, skateboarding, which one do you push with, right? Which one, which one do you put at the front of the board? Which one are you comfortable with? Why is one hand dominant? Scientists aren't totally sure. Most think that it probably has to do with your brain, which is divided into right and left halves. Different parts in each half have different jobs, like storing memories, or understanding what people are saying when they talk. Scientists think which half of your brain is in charge of certain things might determine which hand is dominant, but nobody knows for sure. That's quite interesting. Oh, here's some. So just from home, you don't need a book for this. Um, with your left hand, you can write the word red, R-E-D. And then with your other hand, write the same word uh, or your name. And then you can draw with your left hand a circle and a square and a triangle and a heart and then do the same thing with your other hand with your right hand and see how they look same as the coloring see if you can stay in the lines and stuff it's kind of fun so those might be some neat little activities you can try and if you take pictures and post them like on fresh grade and tag me or put them in the comments here i would love to see what your right and your left hand are doing and how different they are i think that's really cool um, okay, so that is pretty much the, the book that came with this. Oh, actually, I'll read it now. Your Amazing Body. You've lived, in, oh, you've lived in it your whole life, but you may not know just how incredible your body is. A sneeze. Oh, this is important right now, right? We talked about this, probably all the teachers have talked about this before spring break happened. Um, a sneeze shoots out of your nose at a hundred miles per hour. That's really, really fast. That is faster than a cheetah can run. 
if you're thinking in the car on the highway with your parents or in a taxi or something like that you don't really go more than a hundred well we do kilometers here but that's still really really fast right that's all those little the mists there's something weird in our tree I think somebody's balloon arrived in our backyard um, why do you burp when you eat and drink you swallow little bits of air too and that air doesn't want to stay in your stomach when enough air builds up burp. you make up to one and a half liters of spit every day that's almost enough to fill a big soda bottle. Ew. The strongest muscle in your whole body is your jaw muscle. It's a lot of practice. You're about half an inch taller when you wake up than when you go to bed. That's because the cartilage in your body, the stuff that holds your bones together at the joints, squishes down over the course of the day. When you sleep, it stretches back out. And when you blush, that means like um, maybe you're in class and you have to stand up and give an answer and you're embarrassed and your face feels really hot, your cheeks feel really hot, that's blush. Or um, when somebody says something really nice about you and you're like, oh, and then you feel really rosy in your cheeks, that's blush. So when you blush, the inside of your stomach blushes too. You hold food so good. I don't know how to compliment my stomach. <laughs> so, anyways, that is the book. Let's see what's in here. Uh, I went through this one. So this kiwi crate, it came, I'll just start pulling it out. Um, I don't know if I can push this down a little bit more. Not really because this it's a tiny table and then I can't see you. So. I'll just hold the stuff up. Headband. Don't come with the headband. This is for the stethoscope. And some tubes. Now, keep in mind when I'm doing this that like a lot of these things you might be, not 100%, but you might be able to do something similar at home without having a kiwi crate, which is kind of why I wanted to share the crate with you by video because um, not everybody buys these subscriptions. We, we bought, um, these crates for grandma and granddad as a Christmas present so when our son Raiden goes over to their house on the weekends or whatever for a sleepover they've got something really cool and fun to do together and they really enjoy them but um, I don't know I don't think Ray wants to sew <laughs> so he doesn't want to do this one but uh, there there are a lot of things in these crates that maybe you might be able to um, get or find something that's similar that you might be able to make these things on your own. I hope you can. Um, and again, just like the, the little activities like writing with your left hand and your right hand to see what they look like and what the difference is and to see your dominant hand and um, just things like that. You can do that at home. You don't need a crate for it. Um, so anyways, it's got a headband, it's got some airline tubing, this, this is the same stuff as in fish tanks. So if any of you guys have fish tanks at home, um, with like the little bubbler, right, that's all this is. So maybe your parents might have some extra that you can just have them give to you. <laughs> Don't do any of this stuff without asking your parents. But it is possible that a lot of people have a fish tank or some airline tubing at home just from something else okay so this one there's two pieces that are I don't know I'm a I got a big hand but they're about that long on my hand right see from the tip to maybe about there and then this one I think this is the one to to listen to somebody's heart Anyways, we've got three of those. Um, a little funnel. Sometimes uh, perfumes or craft things or oils come with a little funnel to um, to fill like a 
a vial or a flask or something. So who knows, you might have one of these, or you could maybe make one somehow, I don't know. And then, oh, these are the T valves and little earbuds for the, to join it all together for the stethoscope. And these are the stickers, there's four here, just to peel off and basically those will be used for things like holding the holding the airline tubing to the headband and then they'll ask for one of the stickers to be used to hold it together. It's just tape. Tape. Um, some yarn. That's for these. And stuffing to fill these. And these are um, the three pieces of the anatomy that we can lace together and I don't think Raiden's gonna want these when I'm done so I don't know if anybody from Royal Heights is watching this um, and you wanna what's this maybe I should do it on this side can you tell can you tell what this is gonna be if you want a little brain pillow leave me a message leave me a comment down below if you want, what's this gonna be? Dum, 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 dum. Which one's my dominant heart? I'm just kidding. You only got one. Um, and then this. This is a funny one, right? Is this Pikachu? This little stuffy Pikachu? It's a stomach. Stomach chew. <laughs> if you want these, when we go back to school, just let me know and I will give them to you. First one. Who comments for each one saying like this is so and so I'd like a heart this is so and so I'd like a brain it sounds like Wizard of Oz but yeah you can you can let me know and I will give them to you it comes with a checkup form so you can play doctor once you build your stethoscope and stuff um, and I think there was a yes there's a little dry eraser in here and then you can write the patient's name and their birthday and notes and a treatment plan um, is the heartbeat slow or fast? Yada yada yada. There's some Velcro and googly eyes. Those are for the stuffy hearts and brains and stomachs. <clears throat> yep, yeah, these are the clings that I was talking about for the glow in the dark um, x rays. So they're not really like sticky sticky, they're just static holds them down. So you would take these, the hand and some, do they? Oh yeah, so these ones, like this one and this one would join together right at the seam so it would look like it's broken. Like you've got a fracture or something. And then this is the glow in the dark paper. That's cool. You could use this for um, stars on your ceiling. Except I guess it's not sticky. And then, yes, there's a big poster here. This is huge! I don't think my camera will get it all, but it's kind of cool to look at, especially if any of the classes are learning about their body. Holy come on. Okay, there we go. This could be taller than me. <laughs> okay, so this is body systems. Right there, you'd put a piece of the Velcro, and a piece of the Velcro goes here. And then the brain can stick on there. Right there is Velcro. And your heart would go there. And where is the last one? Anybody know? Anybody know? Bladder. Large intestine. Small intestine. They all have happy faces. They look like they're having fun at their job. Kidney. Because it looks like a kidney bean. Kidney. Did I just say that? Liver, I love you. Stomach, hey, look at that. And the lungs. So this is cool. This shows the muscles. Okay, go in a little bit. There's the body with just the muscles. On this side, there's the body with just the bones. That's the skeleton. Stand up for this one. 
there's the digestive system. And what's on this last one? Big word, circulatory. That's how like everything travels through your body, like your blood, or sorry, cardiovascular. So that's basically it's your heart pumping all the blood down and up and down and up and down and up and down and up and oh, most important, right? Keeps you breathing and keeps you living and keeps you happy. And the rest is up to you. So that is a gigantic poster. Holy cow. Cool poster though. So I guess, I don't know, maybe I'll pause it. Should I pause it? Maybe I'll just fast forward this part. I don't know. I'm learning. But that's what you're here for too, right? So I've got three different colors of yarn. Who wants to guess that I picked my favorite color first? Orange! So um, I guess we'll just lace these up. Hope this is gonna work. This is a lot easier than I think my son thought it was going to be. It's just lacing. It's not really, really, really sewing. Even though I could sew it too. But that's okay. So, as I lace this up, I'm wondering what the last thing we all ate was. What is the what is the most recent thing you put in your stomach? Was it healthy? Was it yummy? Did it fill you up? Did you eat a long time ago? Are you hungry again? There's lots of foods that you can eat that fill you up, but then they don't fill you up for a really long time. Those aren't really the healthiest things to eat, right? They're yummy sometimes, but they don't really have a lot of goodness in them. That's why fruits and vegetables and roughage, roughage is such a funny word. Roughage is like, um, like the hearty green vegetables and stuff, right? And then those, those make your tummy work to break it down. But there's not a lot of junk in them to break down. So there's a lot of good fiber that keeps your intestines and your bowels and stuff healthy. Most fruits and vegetables, once you get to know them, are awfully tasty. So, almost done, stomach. I could have thought about this a little bit better because I kind of put the starting point right at a skinny spot. So stuff in my stomach might be tricky, but that's okay. There. I love sewing. Okay, putting some, I should probably be showing you this, right? So I've laced up the, the stomach. I don't know if I should call it a tummy, because it's not really the tummy, it's the, the guts of the tummy, right? It's been very rainy on and off these last couple of days. But today is gorgeous, it's a beautiful day. There we go. So, hopefully I can, now I gotta lace these ones with all that stuffing in there. It gets tricky. 
There we go. fix it up so it's nice and snug and then put some Google eyes on it and there is a little stuffy pillowed stomach and do the same for the heart and the brain Ooh. once I build the stethoscope I might not do that on here but once I build the stethoscope, I'll check and see the heartbeat of my dog over there. She's snoring pretty loud. I wonder if they want me to double over. Don't know if I'd have enough yarn for that. Yeah. I remember when I was in school, not like earlier this year, I mean when, when I was little, I loved the lacing, the lacing cards. Maybe that was a sign for me. You're going to like to sew when you're older. I don't know. I took a class in school, but most of my sewing and everything, most of everything, I wound up learning on my own. When I was younger, I didn't really pay enough attention in school. I regret that. I wish I had been more active in all of the things I did, even the stuff that I wasn't really like in love with, because a lot of the stuff, you're not in love with it until you learn about it. You know, you're not in love with something until you become invested in it. So. I wasn't in love with sewing because I didn't know anything about it, right? Oops. But once I learned that you can make a whole bunch of different things, it started to get really interesting. And I learned that I could make a lot of things that I couldn't afford to buy. That was pretty neat. Um, so I saved a lot of money that way by learning how to DIY everything. <laughs> make everything on my own. There are a lot of little holes in this heart. I don't know how this guy's even breathing. Just kidding. Just a stuffy. Holy cow. Mm, I watch um, I watch YouTube videos and stuff and mostly art ones because I like my art but uh, whenever there's a product on there, I know that the YouTubers, they usually say, you know, this video is sponsored by so-and-so. This video is not sponsored by Kiwi Crate at all. They don't probably know I exist, but I am just a member. I am a subscriber. But I just wanted to share this with you guys because I thought it would be fun. Everybody's stuck at home and I have one of these and why not share it, right? Share in the building. Sorry, I keep putting my hands down because that's usually where I work. Closer to the table, but my apologies. Do you know how many valves the heart has? 
why don't you look that up and leave a comment down below. A valve is something where it can go one way, but it cuts off like a flap, like a dog door. So something can go this way, but after the valve it can't go back. That's really important, especially for blood. Chambers. There we go. Chambers of the heart. I should have asked that. Chambers of the heart have. Okay. We've got ourselves a little heart. You're so cute. It's not really the kind of heart that I would draw on like a sticky note to my sister or something. I love you. Ooh, what is that? It's a love. <laughs> Guys, oh, 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 oh. Is this the right way? Okay. Before I stick the eyes on, let me make sure that it's the right way on the thing. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Okay, so I can put. Shy guy. Oh, I, I love you too. Okay. There's one. Where did my eyes go? Oh. I think we're looking elsewhere. Mm -hmm. There. Oh. Jesus. There. How's that? I love you. I want to close up my stomach. Maybe I should put, maybe I should just close up my stomach and put some eyeballs on this poor little guy too. What you all think? Uh, he needs a little bit more stuffing in this thing. <laughs> up in here. You need some stuffing up in here. Fill you up. This is lunch. I'm filling him with lunch. There we go. Okay. So low. Sorry. There we go. And then on the stomach. So he'll go like that. He'll go like that. Okay. What kind of expression does the stomach have? Hey, Earl. And Tuli. <laughs> I have four cats. Maybe three now. Just kidding. How about always hungry, right? Open wide, feed me now. Ah. <laughs> There's the stomach. Okay. <laughs> Thankfully, the brain already has stuff written on him, so I don't have to um, do much. Maybe I'll make a little mouth. Maybe he'll be like, 
Hmm, I'm thinking. Okay, last one. Can you find out what the biggest bone in the body is and put it in the comments? And can you tell me what the smallest bone in the body is? Put that in the comments. You might have to look that up because I'm not going to tell you. I know them, but I'm not going to tell you. Tricky, tricky. Do all bones have the same strength? I mean, our leg bones, they're big and strong. They hold up most of our body, right? Are they made? the same way, exactly the same way as like a finger bone or maybe a bone in our head. What about our kneecaps? Are those bones or are they something else? And if there's something else, what is it? Put it in the comments. I'm about halfway done this brain. Do we all have the same size brain? I know for a fact some of us have different size heads, but does that mean that their brains are smaller or bigger? Can you find that out and put it in the comments? Write these down. It's homework. Homework time. What else is there? Is it schoolwork? It's not really schoolwork anymore, is it? It's all at home. It's learning. It's all fun. Learning. However we do it, right? There's a lot you can learn in your backyard. So you shouldn't let a day go wasted. There's always something you can learn. <laughs> Just thinking about the sewing. Um, if any of the boys out there, or girls, are thinking, ugh, sewing, ugh, that's such a pink job, you know, like, that's, that's for girls to do, not boys. Boys do the, the soccer and hockey and we're doctors or whatever. How do you think you fix the nets? How do you fix the, the holes in a net? What about if you want to be a vet? Or if you want to be a doctor, a surgeon? Guess what? I have five stitches in my shoulder blade right now. I got on a week ago, last Thursday. That was from a doctor who knows how to sew. Yes. What about if you want to sail the seven seas like a pirate? Arr. Guess what? You gotta learn how to sew. Because if something ever happened to your sails on your boat, you need an awl, that's the tool, and then you need to learn how to sew, how to fix your sails. There we go. 
Oh, look at that. So smart. Looks so smart. You know? Like, ooh, put it in a. Hey, wait a second. I could glue it right to that and then it would be my fascinator. It'd be fascinating because it's so smart. I love it. I love you. I love you, brain. You big, beautiful brain. Kiss you, big, beautiful brain. Mwah! Okay, brain's going that way on the picture. So let's get these pictures or these eyeballs on you. Where should the eyeballs go? Probably looking down at stuff. Not like, oh, I'm looking down at you. Just because your brain is way up high. Oh, it almost even looks like he's got a little smile. Yeah. Oh, I know you. I know everything. I know what you do. I take care of you. I tell you to wash your hands. I can even help you sing happy birthday for 20 seconds. <laughs> oh, the brain's great. Okay, so I think I'm gonna call, call it there. Brain. Staticky heart. Hungry stomach. These guys can go to whoever wants them. I hope somebody had fun um, watching this. I'm not going to do the whole thing, but I have another. Um, I have another box here that I will look into. Gosh, this is a long video. Yikes! I don't even know if I'm allowed to post something that long. So I will end it here. Kids, I hope you had fun. I did. Talking to myself, kind of. Got to clean up afterwards. And give me some answers to those questions. Start looking around. Research. Learn about your brain and your heart and your bones and your body. You've got a lot of really amazing things happening all inside of here. So enjoy it. Appreciate it. And I will see you soon. Bye.